if you want to view paradise, <laughs> simply look around and view it. Step on this circle with a bird's dead foot on it. And jump into this jar. There's nothing to it. <laughs> Welcome to Beard Bros. We, we are playing Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> Welcome here. Won't you stay for a while? <laughs> Yes, we're dating ourselves quite a while. <laughs> yeah, well, I, you know what? I think in this case it's cooler because it's like that weird Johnny Depp movie or like the good one with Gene Wilder. Yeah. It's like liking Wizard of Oz. Like, you're not like, oh, yeah, old man. It's all about that one with James Franco that I can't even remember the name of. Oz. It's just called Oz. Oz. It's called Oz. Just Oz. Yeah, so all right. we need to get in there by uh, activating the picture. So we're headed to Gobi's Valley. Gobi's Valley. Uh, which is World 6 already. Are we really at World 6? No. Is that true? Then we have to maybe just go somewhere else, because I think we've only done four worlds. Let's do a little recap real quick. Give you our totals. Yeah. Momo's Mountain. Treasure, Treasure Trove. Trove. Cove. Clankers. Did that. Bubble Gloop did that. Oh my stop as well. So yeah, we've done five, uh, four. So we've done four. So what's the fifth one? So what's the fifth level? What the heck? Freeze Easy Peak? Oh. Did we do that yet? No. Oh, let's go do that. I thought the sound one comes first, no? Mm, I mean, no. <laughs> What's over here? What's over here, bros? What's over here, bros? Oh, yes, we don't have the, uh, the fast feet yet. Whee. Love this version of the song, the Christmas version. Just sounds like Harry Potter now. I think Grant would be very flattered by you saying that. It does. It just sounds like John Williams' Harry Potter score. So we have to find the pictures first, which we haven't found yet. Let's go find the pictures. Um, I don't remember where they are. What are you trying to do? We have to turn on the photos for all the stuff. You have to turn on the photos? You have to put the jigsaw pieces in the picture so the levels will open. <clears throat> oh! I see what you're saying. I used to speak English. So do you have any idea where you're going? Nope. <laughs> you're just guessing? Yep. Oh, I found Gobi's Valley. Wanna do Gobi's Valley? We can! We're not supposed to see, I feel like we're supposed to do this first, no? It says Gobi's Valley is the sixth world. But it doesn't make any sense. I know, right? That's the next part. That's at the graveyard area. I have no... It, it, the, the picture for Freeze Easy Peak is in the Bubble Gloop Swamp area. So it's definitely the one after Bubble Gloop. It's through, it's like behind the hut. Behind Gratilda's hut? No, behind the hut in Bubble Gloop Swamp. Oh, the actual level? It's located- Oh, yes, I know where it is. Watch us walk around Gruntilda's lair. Come on. Gotta catch a ride. Catch a ride. This is where the cars live. <laughs> Get you one. Get you one. You're where the cars live. God damn Borderlands. I really want to do Borderlands 2 for the show. It's, it's just been such a daunting thing to organize three people to complete a game alongside you. It's huge. It's a big deal. And people are like, why you like the first one so much? I'm like, yeah, I know. 
Yeah, it was huge. But those were simpler times. Simpler times. We could just play Borderlands before. So, like, back there. Is there a... What? Am I just jumping for it? You got it. You made it. But I need the shoes. Do you? Yeah. You seem to be doing all right. <laughs> hey! Speed run! You did it. You sped run it. I'm a sped runner. Sped run. Hell yeah. Breezy, easy peak. It's easy in this Garibaldi's Peak. Okay, so that part of Freeze Easy Peak over there, that entrance area, is great because it is obviously, I mean, like when you look at it, it's pretty obvious what it is. You have to walk all the way back over there? Yep. You're and not going to make it. don't have shoesies. How are you supposed to do it? No, there's shoes here somewhere. There's gotta be. Over? Above the door, maybe? I can hear him. I think those are the eggs. Did All you? I know is eggs! No, you picked up the eggs. Where the hell is it? Yeah. Yeah, you were right. Yeah! We're killing this. <laughs> so this area that we're going to, right? Do you know what an advent calendar is? I know advent children. Okay, it's not at all the same, but it it, it is the same word. Uh, <laughs> okay, sure. No, an advent calendar. I'm, I'm sure that once I describe it to you, you're gonna be like, oh. It's one of those things that you buy for the month of December. Uh, oh, I know what it is. Yeah. It's uh, like if you're. It's, it's kind of. It's what Cloud brought to Aerith on their no, first date. No, no. Got that, her Advent Children calendar. That's right. That's my bad for not realizing that that was the joke. That's why they titled the movie that. Yeah. Um, no, what it was, what it is, is it's like on Christmas. It's like it's like a it's like a countdown to Christmas, kind of. Sure. But it's like a like a flat thing that you. Ha have and every day you open a little door on it and there's a chocolate. Surely okay. you've seen one of those before? Sure. Have you? No. You've never seen an advent calendar before? I, 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 I've I heard of it. It's kind of like a... It, I guess it's kind the of chocolate, a... Christian. The chocolate a day thing is not what I'm, I'm hearing about. I, I, I have not heard of this chocolate a day. <laughs> This is this is a real thing. So, uh, oh, there's a chocolate for. Okay, so you take one piece of candy a day. Yeah, it's like a little. It's like a. It's like okay. A, it's like a thing with like little doors on it, and every day, you, you like open a new door, and then you get like a big one on Christmas usually. Um. So your story about that is. Well, so okay, so the entrance to Freeze Easy Peak is a giant advent calendar. If you look at it, oh, it's like yeah. a giant advent calendar. And then uh, there is a song <laughs> on the soundtrack that's unused that's called Advent. And uh, nobody knows. Nobody, nobody knew for a long time what uh, the song Advent was for. And the theory was that, like, it was for this something to do with because this level is kind of themed Christmassy, not just winter, but like pretty, holidays. Pretty, like, pretty, like, snow days. Yeah, pretty, like, holiday -y. snow pretty, cones. Pretty Christmassy. Coffee. And, and so people were thinking, like, yo, like, maybe this is, maybe this is like hot chocolate. Maybe the Advent song goes with the Advent calendar or something. Oh my god. This pitiful baby bear. That picture of Boggy on the wall is my favorite part. I love that Rare has like a thing for like putting pictures up in people's houses. <laughs> so anyway, so turns out though that that's not even true, because Grant Kirkhope, um, our, Lord Grant and, Kirk our Lord and Savior, he uh, he is the twerk pope. He revealed uh, in an interview that it I was actually say we could just. Like call up Grant, 
we just cold call Grant right now and be Let's like, Grant, see, tell us about it. We we should try and we should try and get him on. But but the, but what he, what he said was that that actually started out as a theme for the Project Dream soundtrack, which was the like precursor to Banjo Kazooie, basically. Oh yeah. Uh, and that was just adventure. So it, it actually wasn't. It didn't actually have anything to do with Freeze Easy Peak or Advent. Isn't that interesting? Of course, it was it's just like a separate old like behind the scenes little fun thing. Yo, can we just take a second to point out that the internet freaked out the other day about Michael Jackson being confirmed as the composer, even though Pop Fiction and us have talked about it several times. I know, but I was like, yo, like, I said that and people were like, well, no, but now they've officially confirmed it. But I was like, I'm pretty sure that it was confirmed before. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure that somebody's going to still have something yo, to say. Yo, how do I how, eject it? I don't think you're jumping on him. What do you mean? Maybe that's just not how it's done. He has a stomach and he's like, oh, I can't do it. Please help me. Maybe you gotta get Dude. him. Maybe you gotta hit him with something even harder. Okay. Uh, so also there is a f refrigerator in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. That's a part for your car that freezes the target for several seconds. And uh, it's called Freeze Easy. So that's like a reference to this. And then that giant snowman. Yeah, it better be. Yeah, it is. That's trivia. And then there's a giant snowman uh, in Banjo Land. That's also th like supposed to be the snowman from Freeze Easy Peak, but he's like melted now. Oh. Yeah. Uh, because Banjo Land is like the like throwback zone, I guess, of nuts and bolts. Where it's like a it's like a uh, conglomerate of like all the levels from the from Banjo Kazooie and Tui. Yeah. It's also uh, this theme is also speaking of Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts, is uh, it's one of the two themes available on the stereo vehicle part, so you can get this song or uh, Click Clock Wood song. Oh, cool. Um, and also there's an underwater version of the song that exists, but there's no underwater version. Uh, because the only time you can go underwater in this level is that when you're the walrus. Yeah. And so then, because you're the walrus, it plays the normal music because walruses are at home underwater. <laughs> also, apparently, uh, Waza's cave has an underwater theme too, but you just never do it. Waza's the walrus cave, basically. Wahey! Wahey! <laughs> Yo. What? I am so struggling right now to stay awake. <laughs> yeah, we're dying this week, you guys, but it's okay because this is a great time. We're having a good time here. I'm having a great time. Beer Bros homework for today. Yeah? Look up the waltz of the flower from the Nutcracker. Yeah, I know that well. Okay, and compare it to the song from Freeze Easy Peak because it is cited as an inspiration. Bonus points if you dance to the waltz of the flower and send it to us. And CC Greg Kirkhope. CC that as man. As always. Tell Everyone, him, Lord and him, Savior Patrick. Tell him this know. one's for you. Thanks for Freeze Easy Peak and then do Thanks a ballet move. everything. Greg Kirkhope, you're, I love you. Yeah, say, say, dear Grant, this one's for you. Freeze Easy Peak. This one's for you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't you know what to keep do. Keep trying. You're, you're like putting a good say, effort. Say, hey, Grant, this one's for you. Thanks for Freeze Easy Peak. You're really getting And then it. do ballet to the waltz of the, the the waltz of the flower. I feel like you're finally understanding your true calling. Yeah, man. I'm figuring it out. Uh oh. So uh Ooh. this is also the only level in the game that requires a move from a from a later level to get one of the jiggies. So we can't actually finish this uh we can't actually finish this level. Until until we get uh, one of the other skills. Is gotcha. That, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Oh, you have to use the sled. That's right. To hit the bear. Death well, count. Oh. That's two, three. Two, I believe. You got the buttons. Not you got to gun draw buttons. You got to talk to the wa uh to the walrus. Bogey, go be a family man. When you beat Boggy as a walrus, you gotta beat him again 
But you need the turbo trainers. But you don't get those yet. Yeah. Because first you, because first you race him as a uh, walrus, and it's pretty easy. That cartoon effect, I was trying to explain it to everybody the other day. Yeah. But it's like impossible to make that sound with your mouth because it's like. Get <laughs> 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 them honeycombs, baby. Dude, those snowmen are like the scariest enemy. Question of the day what's the most unintentionally scary enemy in any video game? Uh. I'm gonna say every character from Kingdom Hearts. Every character from Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. I'm a present. Give me to someone sad. Can I have you? I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad. Let me have a present. Great. Crushing it. <gasps> What's up? Nice. Look at you. Look at you. You got this. Nice. Icebreaker. Alright, so uh what other ones do we need to get? You gotta you gotta get the sled first. That's number one thing. So you gotta go talk to the walrus. Oh no, you're doing right. You're doing right. Yo. <laughs> You tripping out? I fell asleep twice. You fell asleep twice? Yeah. What do you mean you fell asleep? As we were playing just now, I passed out. You're like going, you're going up the scarf. Right. I'm going in and out of consciousness. Oh my God. All right. Let's, just, let's, you let's. see how I like almost fell off the cliff? Yeah. Yes, I did. That was not me scoping it out. That was me falling asleep and idling. Guys, put this on the wiki. Oh my God. Gerard I'm... fell asleep during <laughs> the episode and me and him are the only ones here. <laughs> And I don't have the controller. Can you imagine if I didn't notice? So I was just like wrapped up in my my research. Your, your conversations what woke me up because <laughs> I realized that you and I were having a conversation. And you're like, yeah, yeah. I was like, cool, man. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, this is your chance to save Boggy right here. Is it? Yeah, the sled, bro. Oh boy. Sled, sled boys. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep, dude. Don't fall, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> Oh, wahey! Wahey! Blup. So gross. Such oh. a gross sound. Indigestion. Such a, such a gross sound. <laughs> so so gross. All right, let's go talk to Waza. Wozniak from Yacht Club. I no. love Waz. Waza. Waz, are you watching? He was watching for a while. Waz, if you're watching, congrats to your two twins. I'm so happy for you, dude. Babies. You're the coolest. Is he Alex watching? still has not done. I You know what? I gave it such a goddamn fair shake, and I my opinion is well known. Yo. Yes. I'm watching the X-Files. Yeah, and I am I will continue watching Lie to Me next time I have nine hours to just sit and... You don't have to do nine hours. You watch me. I won't watch there you. There he is. Whoa! So check it out. So Waza's scared of Banjo... Because walruses get preyed upon by polar bears in the wild. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. You gotta get that puzz piece. What puzz piece? From the walrus. We're not fast enough to be it. We gotta be the boots. We don't wanna be snatched from them. Give me your snow claws. No, you just gotta become a walrus. I am the walrus. I am the wal- Oh, fuck that snowball! Yo, I was feeling good and that snowball showed up. Oh boy, okay. I'm back, sorry guys. <laughs> guys, I'm with a guy who's on the, on the border of the realm of like the living world and the dream world. I'm fucking raiding you guys. <laughs> I'm Raiden from Mortal Kombat. All you gotta do is stay up for a day and beat Birth by Sleep, and then you're Raiden. Did I do this? No, I didn't. I don't think you did all oh, three. Oh, no. 
Nice. Okay. What do we got here? Come on. Come on, baby. There it is. You Good got little, this. Can you, you go upside casual down? Casual loop. Yeah, just take it like the casual long way around. Casual loop. The long way around. Cashy cash. Gerard is falling asleep while we play. His eyes are like <laughs> lines. His, his eyes are straight lines. <laughs> He this, just had a jiggy. This dude is falling asleep <laughs> and getting puzzle jiggy. pieces while while <laughs> unconscious. <laughs> We're gonna get this first. What is that? Oh, it's not lit yet. We gotta lift the tree, but it's not lit. Go get the piece you just it's not, got. It's not Grimecraft. <laughs> it's not Grimecraft. Shout out to Grimecraft. I love that guy. What are you talking about? Grimecraft, you're lit all the time, oh, dude. He's just super lit. He's super lit. Just no sussing allowed. That, that dude is the king of social media. <laughs> he's he's the best. I can't wait for you guys to hear his what? remix of Angel. It's so good. <laughs> bruh, bruh. Whoa. Okay, we got two puzzle pieces. That's... That's a fifth of them. Alright, let's get one more before we get out of here, and then you can go take a safe rest. Oh my god, don't tell that to me. You can you can just actually go to sleep if we can get through this, if you get one more puzzle piece. Try it. Okay, so... <laughs> So hard <laughs> Okay, so um, you need to become a walrus. Watch me swing. <gasps> Hold on. Okay. <laughs> swing initiated. <laughs> swing even higher. Swing initiated. Mumbo's house. Watch me swing. He's got a life on his head. I'll go for it. Offset that death count, baby. <gasps> we lost it. No, we didn't. The dream never dies. We are the legend. <laughs> what do we you mean? We are the legend. Guys, Gerard is I asleep. I am the legend. I <laughs> am Will Smith. <laughs> let's go. Gerard has gone insane, you guys. Let's, let's, let's do this. <laughs> Fucking turn me into a washing machine. Let's go. It's a walrus. Nope. It's not Wal anything to do with washing clothes. Uh, fun fact: you get to turn into a goddamn wa fucking Jinjo just chilling right here. What are you doing? Get a job. He's like, hi. Hi. You, you found me. Okay. I get them all. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> Is it because your eyes are closed? Guys, look how many notes we have. <laughs> 64. And 64? Look at you. Still on the ball. <laughs> Even when unconscious. <laughs> I am an adorable walrus! <laughs> yeah, so Waza scared you because polar bears are the natural predator of walruses. But I'm a walrus, bro. Watch me go, watch me go. Up, 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 he up, will say up. hi to you if you come in as a walrus. Um... But no matter what other animal you are, he's still afraid of you. He should be. And then for some reason at the end of the game, Waza never shows up in his cave when they show the key. Maybe because he lives a sad and lonely life. <laughs> Maybe he died and no one said anything. You think he's just a ghost? Like he's yeah. like a like a like a Victorian woman? Oh dude. I'd watch that movie. I wouldn't watch that movie. It's a bad idea for a movie. Yo, remember that walrus from that one part of Banjo Kazooie? He's gonna be the main character of a movie where he's a ghost. The best, the best part about Alex, in in always and forever, will be when he when he just creates reality for you, <laughs> where he just goes, "I'm going to literally explain what you just said in factuality," <laughs> because it always sounds so much funnier and more cinematic when he says it. <laughs> cinematic. It's a cinematic experience with you. You're it's a cinematic like the uncharted, man. It's like the Uncharted Two of living, living life. <laughs> Hold on. I know, I know, I'm really tired. What did you just say? I said that hanging out with me is like the Uncharted 2 of living life. We're talking about cinematic storytelling, baby. We're talking about. Do you mean that from the standpoint of being a cinematic, like, experience? I just like. Or like, a game? You like, wanna, you want to build Uncharted 3? I'm confused. I'm saying, like, imagine pit, Pitfall for the Atari. Okay. Okay, and then imagine the cinematic storytelling of Uncharted 2, and that's what it's like to hang out with me. Yeah, that's right. 
Oh, I shouldn't be racing this, dude. I'm in no condition. No, you to just race. gotta go get. You just gotta go talk to the walrus. You just have to talk. Like, there's no challenge involved. You just have to go <sighs> no, talk to him. Now I gotta get a jiggy. This guy. All right. Oh, here we go. Wahey! 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 This is the easy mode version. There he is, Wahey! I remember Kelly was like way mad at this. He just gets faster? Yeah. He's just a cheater? Watch this, though. What the hell? Are you the cheater? I am the champ. Oh no. Wahey, get out of here! Wahey! Wahey! Oh my god, dude, don't lose. What do you mean? You got this. What do you mean? What do you mean? Don't what lose. Do you mean? What do you fucking lose? You got this. You I'm not. <laughs> Are you me to lose? What's wrong? Are here? you falling asleep? What are you talking about? <laughs> what is going on? I'm winning. <laughs> That's what's happening. Yeah, stay on that. That's great. That's good stuff. Dude, he passed you. He's hey. passing you. Dude. Oh my god. How are you in front? <laughs> You missed the flags! Oh my god, how are you doing this? How did you go that far behind? What in the world? You just Jar Jar Binks your way through that. Yo, have some respect for that actor. He did a good job. It's not about Ahmed Best, it's about Jar Jar Binks. Remember that time when I fell asleep at the wheel and I won? <laughs> Don't do that, kids. I'm a modern... I'm a major, modern, major general. You're a very modern major general? It's true. From Gilbert and Sullivan's Pirates of Penzance? Yeah, that was my first musical ever. I Who? was the modern major general. You did that whole song? Yeah. Do you know the song? I used to. I am the very model of a modern major major. Ah, oh, fuck. I am the very model of a modern major. I am the very <laughs> model of a modern major general. You sound like a racist impression of an Indian person. No! I am the very modern- I am the very model of a modern major general. I'm information vegetable and I'm on the mineral. I quote the fights historicals off. Man. Tell you what. If at the end of this, anybody still remembers, why don't we- why don't we do a version of that song? No. Let's do it. We'll get you know, the lyrics. You know what the sad thing is? What? There's probably a video of me in high school doing it. Oh my god. 15 year old Gerard. Hashtag find Gerard. I could probably find it. Add him to the bounty. Unlike Frasier, who won't show his experience. Somebody will get you. We'll get you, Frasier. Frasier. Oh. Frasier sits in quiet. Think about this. Find the other people who are in the video and ask them if they have a recording of it. So, Erin and her family? Erin and her family. Yeah, we're, or, we're not really I, friends with Erin anymore, though. But there's more than one story in one episode, right? No. Frasier had a whole... You had a whole 30 minutes? Whole 30 minute episode to himself. Cocksucker fish? Cocksucker fish. Is Yo, that, is that, can, we, can we just take some time to appreciate the fucking subreddit right now? You guys on the subreddit are fucking killing it. Every goddamn day, there is 15 to 30 posts about the questions of the day and the wrap-ups. And it's just, it's it's my and favorite it's great. thing to read when I'm like about to go to sleep. It's so... I, I love all the comments. You guys really are making the subreddit its own. I'm so happy. You make me happy. Yeah, I read it all the time. I love it. So, um, I guess we're gonna call it. Yeah, we better before. I don't even know before you just like sleep forever and age ninety years like Rip Van Winkle. I'm just gonna, just gonna, <laughs> just gonna hang out right here. All right. Uh, goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. I love you. Yep. I we'll love be everyone. <laughs> yep. Hit Gerard loves everyone. We'll be back in a couple days with another Banjo Kazooie. In the meantime, enjoy the other fine things we put on this channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, real talk, you guys. <laughs> I love you. He's gone. He's done. <laughs>